Now we have moved to write login code, for login user will first enter his username and password and then after he will click on login button then after he can enter into system so far we have write if statement with condition like is set function with argument like dollar post login variable, here login is name of login form submit button and here code check the submit value is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code and in this block first we have write if statement with condition like empty function with argument dollar post username variable or operator again we have write empty function with argument dollar post password variable. Here both post variable is the username and password text box and this condition check if both text box or one of text box has no value then if will execute if block of code. And in this block we want to display alert message like both fields are required, so for this we have write echo statement with text like open and close script tag and between this tag we have write alert box with text like a both fields are required. This will produce alert message if both or one of the fields has no value. But if both fields has value the it will execute else block of code and in this block we have write dollar username variable is equal to miss clear real escape string with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar post username variable. This function will escape special character from string and produce clean string and store into dollar username variable. After this we have write dollar password variable is equal to miss clear real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar post password variable. This function will remove special character from string and store clean text under dollar password variable. Now we want to validate enter username and password so for we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from users where username is equal to dollar username variable. This query is used for validate users entered information. After this we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute this select query and store result into this dollar result variable. Then after we have write of statement with condition like miss clean num rows with dollar result argument greater than zero. This function will return number of rows from dollar result variable and this condition will check if number of rows greater than zero then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose number of rows is zero then it will execute else block of and under this block we have want to display alert message with text like wrong user details. So we have write echo statement with open and close script tag and between this tag we have write alert with text like wrong user details. This message will appear only after you will enter wrong username. But suppose number of rows is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable. This function will convert query result into associative array and store into dollar row variable. Now we want to verify hashed password so we have write of statement with condition like password verify method with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar password variable in which we have store password enter from login form and in second argument we have write dollar row password variable. This is hashed password which we have store into table while doing registration. This method will verify password and if password is matched then it will return true and execute if block of code and suppose password is not matched then it will return false and it will execute else block of code.
Suppose this method will return true that means password is matched so it will execute if block of code and under this block first we have create dollar session username variable is equal dollar username variable. Here we have create session username variable and under this variable we have store username of user. After this we want to redirect page to entry.php page. So here we have write header function with argument like location entry.php. This function will redirect page to this entry.php page. But suppose password is not matched by password verify method then it will return false and it will execute else block of code and under this block we want to display alert message with wrong user details. Now our login code is ready, then after we want to check if user is already logged in and we want restrict to login user to see this login page again, so for this here we have write of statement with condition like a set function with argument like a dollar session username variable. This code check the session username value is set or not. If value is set that means he is already logged into our system so we want to redirect login user to entry.php page. So in this block we have write header function with argument like location with entry.php. This code will redirect login user to entry.php page. Now we have moved to write PHP code on entry.php page and on this page first we have write session start function. This function starts session on this page. Then after we want to restrict to direct access this page, this can be show by only that user who has done login without login user can view this page. So for this we have write if statement with condition like not is set dollar session username variable. This code will check if dollar session username variable value is not set then it will execute if block of code and in this block we have write header function with argument like location index.php question mark url variable action is equal to login. If dollar session username variable is not set then it will redirect user to login page. After this on this page we want to display a username who has log into system, so we have write echo statement with text like a welcome with dollar session username variable. This code will display the login username on the entry PHP page. Then after we want to display logout page links so we have write echo statement and in text we have write anchor tag with attribute craft is equal to logout.php and in anchor text we have write logout. This is the logout page link. When user will click on this logout link he will be redirect to logout page from this page he will be leave from this system. Now we have go to logout.php page and on this page we have write session start function. This function starts session on this page. Then after we have write session destroy function, this function will remove all session variable from the system. After removing all session variable this page must be redirect to login form so for this we have write header function with argument location double colon index dot php question mark with the url variable action is equal to login. This will redirect this page to login form. So finally our login register system with password hash method. So we have saved this code on checkout put in browser. Friends we have already done register with username Smith Jones and password is equal to password so we have directly go to login page by click on this login page link and enter username as Smith Jones and password as password and click on login button then after page has been redirect to entry.php and one this page we can show welcome Smith Jones which is username and below this name is logout page link when we have click on logout link then user has been log out from this system and redirect to login page. So this is the complete register login logout system by using password hash method.
Here when new user come for register to this type of system then this system will generate hashed password from password which he has entered while registration by using password hash method. This method will generate 60 character long hashed password by using password hash algorithm and then after we have stored that hashed password in database and when user come for login then at that user enter his password then after we have validate that user enter password with hashed password by using password verify method. This method verify hashed password with normal string password and if both password match then it will return true that means password match but suppose this method return false that means password not match. This is the best method for prevent from password hacking. So friends if you like this video tutorial please share this video tutorial with your friends or even you can also share this video tutorial on social media also. If you have any query or inputs regarding this video tutorial then you can comment on this video we will reply on your comment. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.